Good morning, all friends of Calvary. Uh, this morning, I want to share with you briefly about the good news. Um, early on in life, I learned that it's very important um, how you start your day. I remember when growing up, uh, my grandmother on my father's side was a widow. She would get up early in the morning to go to the market to um, um, to sell um, vegetables and fruits and to come home later with some income. She would get up very, very early to go. So the way she set up her day was most likely to go to bed early and have a plan to get up early so she can be on the market early, do her business early and earn an income. We all know that the saying, I believe it is, the early bird catches the worm. So it's very important how you set a day. This brings me to our own day today. We are not involved in going to the market, but still we all got up in the morning and set our day. Today, many, majority of the people, we set our days by turning on the TV or listening to the radio to catch on. On the news to hear what is going on and what has happened as you know the majority of what we call news today isn't really good news isn't really um, exciting it more makes you depressed and uh, it's a business better say news today is a business and this brought me to another thought I was reading in my own um, private time in Romans chapter 1 when the Apostle Paul talks about the good news. The good news that God has promised about God's own Son who was born uh, uh, into David's um, family and he came on this earth and died and was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the good news. Why did Jesus come and die? Well, something very simple and oftentimes that we forget. We as human beings without God um, no have no hope. And we don't live in the right relationship with God. Because of sin, There was our relationship with God was broken. And God sent His Son to die on our behalf so we can have a right relationship with God. This is the good news. I think this news is essential for us to have in our mind when we start our day. Because as human beings, we have highs and lows, and we struggle, and we have challenges, and we wonder how we're going to come overcome. The news of the media really doesn't give you this connection. It's only by having a right relationship with God, hope in God will give you the strength to continue and move on. This is the good news, that God loves His children. God loves the whole world. And in Him, we can find peace. More so today. I know for the last couple of weeks, I have been saying this to you, more so today. We need good news. We need encouragement. We need to keep our eyes from the worries, the stress, the care and concern, and to ask God to help us. I'm not going to say to you, it means everything will disappear. What I'm trying to tell you is this. When you start your day with the good news, when you start your days focusing on the Word of God, when you start your day with Jesus in your mind, you can go through every challenges that every day brings to you and you can live with joy. There is no reason to live depressed when Jesus Christ, when you welcome him, he comes and lives in your heart, in your life. Unfortunately, many people that know Jesus Christ don't realize who they have within them. Jesus comes to live in the heart. And it's just Jesus I'm talking to you about the Jesus that died and resurrected. There is a scripture that says the, um, 
the same power that resurrected him from the dead lives in us. My friend, you have the power in you to overcome today. If you believe in Christ, don't, don't just only believe outwardly. Believe inwardly. If Jesus lives in you, he'll give you the strength, he'll give you the power to overcome whatsoever challenges come your way. The only thing that you have to do is you have to believe that he will do, he will do this for you. I hope this exciting news or reminder of this exciting news will help you today so you can start your day high and you can continue your day focusing and with hope in Christ Jesus our Savior. So may God bless you. You have a good day and we will see each other soon. Thank you. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for praising the Lord with me. Thank you.